Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move! I don't want to die here! Crap. Do I do what I do? Come on, Max! Hurry! I can't even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Tool, tools, tools. Max! The train coming! Max, Shit, I can't budget at all. Come on, come on. Max, get me out of here! See that. I can definitely use this bad boy. Max! Uh, score! The train's coming! Drawer. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. In and out, no problem. Which wire to cut? Get me out of here! Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! That worked out, okay. Preston. You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Jeez. So we have to be careful. And she does have a point. I mean, it might disappear Thanks for forever. Thanks for Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh. Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. 
So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. All right, more exploring. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? No. Oh, I miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. End of the world party? God. Anywho, yeah, so we've um, definitely, like, uh, checked out Max's powers with the range. We've met Frank, who's a total other douchebag. Uh, not that we have any problem, enough problems with Prescott. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess uh, we all should these days. We got the principal in Prescott's pocket. Let's talk to him. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, you drunkard. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Poster. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. But you are normal. <laughs> Not everyone likes Justin parties. Justin always looks stoned. Maybe you owed money to Frank, too. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Mm. I won't. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama, even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. She's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Hmm. What about you guys? Nope, nothing? Okay. All right. Oh, there's him. Hey, Court. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, again. Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, like you care. Dress code? I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. You were such a bitch earlier. I, I don't know if I want to come to your party. So hey, insane. Samuel. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Can't talk to these girls. Can't go in the bathroom. Trevor surveys his domain. Mm-hmm. David. 
If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? I don't think so. I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treated her bad. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. If only I knew what David Madsen was really... You best not bother chatting me up now. I guess there's none... Ah, oh, Warren. Hey, girl, sit down. Science, bra. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schroeder's kitty. See you soon. Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friend shopping for the party. Hey, Julia. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Cheater. Science lab. I want to talk to these other guys here first. Evan. Hey, Evan. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Nobody cool. Sees me, so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Okay. Aw. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Yeah. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. David Madsen. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Oh boy. Kate is freaked Kate out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... 
Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Ugh. Why are all the adults idiots? <laughs> uh-huh. Let me eavesdrop on ya. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm hmm Okay. I'll do that. Oh, mm. I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Hmm. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Go. Oh. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Are you gonna hang up? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. you're not. All right, uh, let's go in the science lab. There's Warren. Think, big. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? I don't know. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. That's a bad idea. Weird science. Okay. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hand. Asking me if. I have to add either a. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Okay. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Cool. Yes! This can't be that hard. Bring me the brain, Igor. Glad to help, Warren. Hey, Brooke. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Experiment. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Drone? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. Huh. Warren. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. My nature. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. Uh, cause it's obvious Warren has the hots for, for Max, and then Max is oblivious. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Um, 
petition. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm kind of regretting signing that petition. I mean, when the, if there's cameras, we would be catching Nathan with a gun. We would catch Nathan dragging Kate to do rapey stuff. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Miss Grant. Can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Chlorine, huh? I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. OK, chlorine, huh? Hey, Warren. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? Half Daddy. Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Hmm. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Nice. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. There you go. Eureka, he did it. Check out the big brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. Let's see what Brooke has to say. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed... Apparently it's... Yet Warren ignores the ex... Okay, we're done here. Time to go to class. Hey, Stella. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Yes. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. Hey, Alyssa. How do I look, Taylor? You look like that. Another photo op. Resolution, revolution. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Yeah. 
Fair enough. Who else is here? Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Drawing, huh? He's always drawing women. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No, he really does not give a shit. <laughs> Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us. I like Taylor's artistic side, not her personality. No time to talk, Max. Lucky gives a shit. Who's like sitting, sitting in Max. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Yeah, I can. What are you doing here? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Ooh, if I had that gun. <laughs> hmm. I don't even think I want to sit now. Where the fuck did it go? Hmm. I'll make sure you didn't booby trap my chair. Feel like you did. Okay. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Always take the shot, he said. I can't get out of my seat. I wanted to take the picture. <laughs> what do I do? Crap. What up, Max? Oh. Hey, oh, hey Warren. Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, 